Hey guys, it's Mark Campbell here, also known as Mark the Tremor Trainer. I'm just at home, I'm about to whip up some oatmeal and I thought it would be a good idea to film it so you guys can see how I make oatmeal. I love having oatmeal at breakfast or having it for snacks. You can have oatmeal anytime really. It's really easy what I do. Um, I get my oatmeal. I don't have any, at the moment, any steel cut or anything fancy like that. I've just got regular oatmeal or oats, right? So what I'm gonna do, um, I've got my little microwave safe dish here. Um, I'm gonna measure at 30 grams. Doesn't sound like a lot, right? Um, but I thought this is, when I'm cooking, this is probably the only thing that I measure out. So I'm measuring at 30 grams. Yeah, here we go. That says 31, but it's alright, it's, it's flickering between 30 and 31. Then I'm gonna put in a gram of cinnamon powder. Cinnamon. Alright, that's the cinnamon done. Alright, very easy. Next up, we're gonna go with some almonds. Um, so I'm gonna. Oops, I just dropped one. I need about 13 almonds, which is about 15 grams, give or take, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Put those back in the bag. Alright. Then, I'm going to get my chopper. If you don't have one of these, get one. These choppers are really good. Alright. Let's get this blade lined up. Come on, blade. There we go. Now I'm going to put my almonds. Boom. Yeah, that looks good. Alright. Then I'll tip the almonds out in there. I'm going to use this chopper for, for, for nuts, really. Nothing else. Um, what do I need? I need. Boom. And I'm gonna need a fork as well actually at some point. So let me just mix that all in, right? Easy peasy, Japanesey. I've got 200 milliliters of milk measured out. I've never actually weighed out my milk. I've just kind of always um, eyeballed it. I'm gonna pour that milk in. All right. So let me see. That is, yeah, it's practically, yeah, that's about how much I normally use. So let's, so for, just for you guys, yeah, I use 200 milliliters of um, um, milk, right? Which is, how much is that in ounces? 200 is, I guess it's three quarter cup worth, yeah? Yeah, all right. I'm gonna whack it in a microwave for five minutes. I'm gonna cook it for two and a half minutes stop it, give it a stir, and then cook it for another two and a half minutes. All right, so the oatmeal was cooking for five minutes in a microwave. Didn't want to bore you with all that waiting time. Okay, now we're gonna sweeten the oatmeal. Now most people are tempted to go with some sugar. No, let's use nature sugar. Let's use a nice banana that's rich in potassium, right? We're gonna get our banana and we're gonna crush it in there, or as a family member of mine always says, scrush it, Jamaican thing, all right? So we're gonna crush up this banana in there, and we're using this banana, banana for sweetening. Damn, this, this bowl is hot, burning the tip of my fingers. All right, so we crush it all up, yeah, nice and easy, yeah. Make sure it gets around evenly. Give it a stir. Damn, this thing is hot. All right. Looks just about right. No need for refined sugar. We can use nature sugar. We're using, um, this is a very protein rich meal. We're getting protein and carbs from the oatmeal. We're getting protein and carbs from the nuts and we're getting vitamins and minerals from the banana right now what I like to do um, camera lady if you could go back just a little bit um, no not to here I mean back off a bit yeah if you can back off a bit 
Now here's what I like to do. Now I can have this oatmeal, if you have a look, I can have this oatmeal for breakfast, right? As I said before, you can have it for a, for a healthy snack. Now what I like to do, if I'm not having it for breakfast, I'll spoon it out into one of these small containers and take it with me. I'll leave the lid off for a bit, let it cool. So for example, I'm, I'm gonna go out to work. I'll make up my oatmeal, um, spoon it out in here, go shave and shower and all that stuff, right? Then while it cools, um, I'm doing all that stuff, right? So then, just before I head out to work, bang, spoon it in there, I'll get one of these plastic bags that I always nick from the supermarket. They give them out for free, so I just reel off a whole bunch, right? Just as an extra precaution, just put it in there, right? Tie it up, and that, that, that reduces the chances of the lid coming off. And even if the lid comes off, you can still salvage some of the oatmeal. But it, it has never happened to me. So, and then I'll have another one of these, right? So for example, in addition to the oatmeal, I'm, I've got some eggs as well, so I could just scramble up some eggs. Um, I use two to three eggs, I scrambled up. Um, I'm a growing boy, so I have about three eggs. Um, for those of you who have a weight loss goal, you know, one to two eggs is fine to, 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 to add to the oatmeal. Um, and that's it, you, you have a very protein rich breakfast or snack. Um, you should be able to nicely control your insulin, so we're always trying to, remember guys, when you're trying to lose weight, it's all about controlling insulin. If you master how to control insulin, then weight loss is super easy, all right? I hope you liked this video, and uh, if you did like this video, please click like, please comment, please share, um, please follow, please subscribe. Until the next video, take care guys, peace.